What's going on guys, it's your boy the Real AST and I'm back with episode 4 of my Minecraft Let's Play Hardcore Edition. And last episode we went into the nether and we came back and I decided I want to build a few things. So one of the things I wanted to build was a semi-automated tree farm and I needed bone mill. So we scoured the mines and we found us a skeleton mob spawner. It's up here and we've created a little... Uh, XP item farm with the bones and arrows from these skeletons and we I've set it up a little bit of redstone and some piston work so it works two different ways I can go through the, the traditional way and I have looting on the sword so I'm gonna get plenty of extra items and I just run up and I start killing them uh, one hit and they burst into flames and die they're, of course they're dropping 23 blocks uh, as usual for my XP farms. I hit this button. It pushes all the items out to me. Or what I can do is I can actually automate the system, open up the pistons, flood the area with water, and now they're going to drop down and they're slowly going to drown. And I can be off doing whatever I want to do. I don't have to worry about, you know, hitting them. They'll just die and they'll leave. They'll leave their goodies behind. So as soon as they run out of air, you'll hear them they'll start dying. And now I pretty much have just an item farm, an automatic item farm. And once they drown, they'll die, and I'll just hit the button, and it'll shove all the items forward. I collect the items, good to go. Now, I got this little minecart set up, and I'm going to run back to the base now. And I got me some bone meal, so I'm going to plant some trees, because I got some bone meal in my pocket. Yeah, I'm having a good time with this bone meal. I'm glad that I found a skeleton spawner. It's not too far away from the, the main base mine, but, you know, put the track in to make it a little quicker, a little smoother, easier to get back and forth. Like I said, I'm going to set up some redstone so I can actually convert that track so I can take it to multiple places. We'll just uh, hit a button, and it'll take us wherever we need to go. Take this up into the basement of our home. And let's see here. Nothing's really changed. What's up, Chief? We got a. Uh, Nize died. So we have one death on the wall. Um, everybody else in here just helping out, giving us a hand. This was an old cobblestone generator that I started. It's not too old. I started it yesterday, but then I figured out a way that you know I could automate everything. So that's what I've been doing. I'm going to give you guys a peek at this. We have decorated aluminum a little bit, put in a fish tank. So uh, now we can click this and get some fish in here. And got a little fish tank going on up here in the living room. We have went did some glowstone work after our trip from the nether. We put a fence around the compound and we lit up the entire property. So now we do not get any monster mobs in here. We still get animal mobs like crazy. Which is pretty cool because it's going to make it easy when we set up the slaughterhouse. I think we're going to set up in one of these two back corners just so it's away from the house and you have to hear all these god awful animals. Uh, there needs to be a feature where you can turn off these just noisy look. Oh, now you want to. Like, he, he wasn't making any noise. Like I had a mute chicken over here. But just to keep the noise down, keep them away from the house. Fair once we put the slaughterhouse in. Uh, that'll be good to go. I think I have it marked out right here where I'm going to put the slaughterhouse. This right here is the semi-automated uh, wood farm. It's basically like I made it like a lumber mill. I tried to make it as pretty compact as possible, but I wanted it to be fairly large. I wanted it to actually resemble a lumber mill. So what will happen is you come in here and we will plant a tree. Because that tree is a uh, sapling and it's a translucent block, it will not conduct power through it. But once we take and put some bone mill on it, spam it up with the bone mill, it will produce a tree which will create a source block. And that will fire the piston which will shove the tree down. And then once it reaches the end, it will fire a wall of pistons back there which shoves it all the way to the back. When that light pops up, that means that the tree farm is full and then you just come in here and clear all the wood out and if we look back here you can actually see where the trees come back to they trigger that torch which triggers this wall and this wall pushes all the wood this way and then you just come in and clean up the wood and you're good to go 
Um, like I said, all the redstone and everything it could be a little bit more uh, compact and tighter, but I wasn't really worried too much about size. Uh, you know, I got plenty of room on this map to build things, and inside the compound, I just wanted, like I said, a lumber mill. I wanted a cobblestone generator. Uh, this is kind of neat. I like the way I, I came up with to set this up. I actually used a timing system with a minecart. So when I flip that, that lever, it's going to power this rail down here. And because that cart is sitting on an incline, when that rail gets power, gravity will pull that cart and it will continue the cycle. It's a three second cycle. When it hits this detector rail, it's actually going to fire those pistons back there in the generator itself, which is going to shove my my cobblestone towards me. So a piston will push a block 12 spaces. Uh, it will not push obsidian. It will push um, most other blocks. So I flip this lever and the cart will go down that path and it hits the detector rail. Ta-da! It'll push the cobblestone forward. And then once the cobblestone gets out here, you just start smacking the cobblestone. I only made it four high because that was pretty, pretty efficient. I didn't want people to have to be reaching for everything and you can pretty much smack out four blocks by the time that three seconds goes through so if you get on a little cycle you get a pattern going um, you can actually just stand here all day and just bust cobblestone so it works out pretty good um, you run and grab all your cobblestone and then when it fires again you just go ahead and flip the latch and that cart will stop at the top of that incline and It'll be ready to go the next time you go. So you don't have to come down and push a cart. You don't have to have anything in the cart. You just use that incline and that will get the cart going every time. Uh, as you see, we did do the fence around the compound. We did quite a bit of work with the fence. We went through a couple designs and I came up with this one I really like. Um, gives it a nice look on the inside. It's a half circle around the back and then it's flat to the front. So we'll go out here and take a look at it from the front. And let's see what else we have. We did. We we put some. Uh, I've been working on trying to find out how to make mossy cobblestone. I'm not sure you can still do it. I know you could do it in past updates, uh, but haven't been able to find a way to do it now. But if I do find a way, or if it's possible, I will bring that to you and let you know how I did it. I've been looking around, finding some ideas for different things on the YouTube, but. Um, Really, I, I like to try to do things with my own touch, my own spin, so I'll, there's nothing wrong with, with taking the idea and, and giving it a little twist and doing what you can to make it your own. But I really want to do something where I can generate some of that mossy cobblestone without having to find a bunch of spawners. Uh, with the redstone work, if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on redstone, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, one thing I would suggest, I've told my friends to do it, I understand cobblestone, or I understand redstone. I do not have a problem with it, but I also have an engineering degree. So, I mean, I'm not saying you need one, but I mean, if you understand electricity and how things work, making switches and, and nor latches and everything, it's simple. Uh, if you have a problem with redstone, though, go check out something like Generic B. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Go check out his Redstone Academy. He's got a nice tutorial on Redstone. He's a swell guy, a uh, great guy to listen to. Uh, go in there and learn something about Redstone. That's pretty much all we've done so far since the last episode. Uh, just done some aesthetics and cleaned the place up a little bit, but nothing else has really changed. We put lights up in the top of the house for the skylight with some glowstone. And like I said, we're going to work on wheat farming and animal farming next. So we're going to put a slaughterhouse in and probably put a wheat farm, maybe an automatic sugarcane farm. Uh, just so the compound is self-sufficient and we can actually have everything we need at the base. And everything is pretty much as automated as it can be. Once that's done, we'll go through and we'll start, you know, beautificating the outside area of the map. I mean, we have a whole world to work on, so we'll probably, like I said, do the animals then that uh, didn't sound right i will probably do the slaughterhouse and then clean up the area around make it look more uh, like it belongs here that, that cut out where we dug out the mountain kind of looks a little gaudy so we might clean that up a bit and we're going to go up and we're going to work on beautifying that that village up there uh just making it look clean and, and nice and match everything up kind of give it its own personality 
And then, like, I was telling, like, I was telling Blake, uh, we'll go ahead and let people start venturing out and creating their own little villages, houses, and stuff out in the map. Uh, hey, that's pretty much all I have. If you guys have a question or a comment for me, please leave it below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But give me a comment and tell me what you don't like. And maybe I can change something or mix it up so maybe, you know, it's pleasing for you. And, you know, anything that I can do to, to help my channel out and help my channel grow and to, to make something you guys want to see. So hit me up with those comments. And if you have any questions about a build or you need help with something, send me a message. Leave me a comment. If I got time, I'll be more than happy to come in and help you clean something up, polish off a a build or troubleshoot a build that you're having or some redstone issues that you're having. So it's been real. It's your boy. Peace.